your magical cocktail adventure where it's all about making cocktails at home and having fun with friends and family and today we are making an Edith Piaf cocktail and as you can see we are on location at our wonderful friend Angela's home in Lismore, New South Wales, Australia and we are in the old piggery which has been transformed into a wonderful home for Ange and we're having a brilliant afternoon so let's make our fantastic Edith Piaf cocktail six ingredients in our Edith Piaf now I did find this cocktail recipe though first up in this fantastic book called Free the Tipple thank you so much Robin for gifting me this wonderful cocktail recipe book it's fantastic so the back to the six ingredients we do have a Hendrix gin we have some rose water we have fresh lime juice fresh grapefruit juice I'm using a ruby grapefruit we have some sugar syrup and the last most wonderful ingredient is a grenadine now you can use a store-bought grenadine if you like and the cocktail is going to taste wonderful though I have made my own homemade grenadine and it is a recipe that involves 15 ingredients it is absolutely superb and your cocktail will be even extra special and superb and you're welcome to have a little look how I made this homemade grenadine up there in the corner so let's make our Edith Piaf cocktail today we are going to use or I am all going to use is a Boston shaker today and the really the only reason I'm using the Boston shaker is so we can see the beautiful colors coming into the glass so we start off with our Hendrix gin and we are going to pour in 45 ml which is one and a half ounces for those beautiful people out there in the world that still use ounces 45 ml one and a half ounce goes in like so then we want 15 ml of the absolutely delicious grenadine so 15 ml of that goes in look at the color of this wow I wish I'm mm, sorry <laughs> sorry I'm having a moment it is so beautiful I wish you could smell it and I wish you could taste it. It is just so delicious. It's worth all the effort to go in and, and making that special, special. Now, our fresh lime juice, we do want 7.5 ml, so that is a quarter of an ounce, I think. So that's five ml goes in, a nice big clump goes in, and two and a half ml. I'm then ruby grapefruit, once again, seven and a half ml, which is quarter of an ounce goes in like voila so we do want 15 ml of sugar syrup and we're just going to pour that in voila and then our last ingredient is a little bit of rose water and we're going to do three dashes of rose water which really let's just give it a little splash here one two three the rose water just smells delicious so you want to put in a nice big handful of ice into your Boston shaker like so and then we're going to pour that into there look at the color of that place that there give it a tap and let's shake it up let's shake it up buttercup on this glorious day all right that's a beautiful shake you really only need to sometimes shake 12 14 seconds our glass today we're using a martini glass now you can use a coupe glass simple martini glass now part of our garnish though today is going to be on the actual glass itself so I've made a couple here just to show you what I've done there's one now this is just some beautiful jelly crystal and I've painted on a little bit of lime juice, lemon juice, and then you just gently sprinkle on the jelly crystal and it looks so beautiful. 
Now Angela had a brilliant idea and she said, why don't we kiss the glass and put a beautiful kiss lips onto the glass. So there you go. There we have our beautiful jelly crystal kissed glass there. Now I am going to show you how we did that because it's a bit of fun. Let's have a little bit of fun. So what I did was a little bit of grenadine onto my lips. I know it sounds all weird. Okay, there we go. Grenadine on the lips uh, tastes so good. And then we kiss our glass. Mwah! And then we grab our jelly crystals. I have to lip my lips now. <laughs> grab our jelly crystals and gently just sprinkle it on and tap it off and voila there we have some beautiful jelly crystal lips as part or half of our garnish today now here's one though we are going to use the ones I prepared a little bit earlier I've always wanted to say that here's one I've prepared earlier now finally, let's get this cocktail into the glass. We're going to do a strain. Wow. Look at the color of that divine cocktail. That just looks outrageously fabulous. We have the birds singing in the background, the sun shining, the tree is a beautiful, the cows mooing. It's a beautiful day. Now, we might have enough in our cocktail to fill our other glass as well, so let's give it a try. See how much we can get. Oh, wow, look at that. These cocktails just look superb. Not quite enough coming out there, but that's okay. Tied that a little bit on our second one there. Now, one more little part of our garnish we want some beautiful dark red rose leaves and we're just going to place them so gently on the top of our cocktail like so and these beautiful roses and voila there we have our Edith Piaf cocktail this is the favorite part of my show. There we have our gorgeous rose petals. I've just been told I said rose leaves, but hey, they're beautiful anyway. Let's give it a taste. Wow, that is really superbly. Wow, it's a real complex flavors, but, but smooth. And the only thing I would probably do, let's give it another taste first. I believe I would just pull back ever so slightly on the rose water. Mm. Oh yeah, it's, it's good. It's really, really beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the magic of today's cocktail, you are welcome to subscribe, share with your friends, and why not ring the bell for more wonderful cocktail adventures. A big hello today goes out to Melissa from Ballina, New South Wales, Australia. Thank you so much for watching, Melissa. I hear you have some musk liqueur at home. I hope you have fun making musk foam liqueur. Please let me know how you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Helen, the cocktail queen of Mount Tambourine. Thank you so very much. Mwah! Cheers! Mm -mm. Oh, it is good. Has a good floral note. It's really delicious. Mm. I think the only thing I would change, pull back on the rose water just a little bit. And because it's so hot today, I'm going to put ice in next time. Thanks so much, guys. Bye.
for watching. That's it from me. Oh, it looks so beautiful. Now, Angela had an incredible idea. And she said, why don't you do a little lip kiss? Truck. 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 Let's start again. I found this fantastic Edith Piaf cocktail cock. <laughs> now, one more little part of our garnish. We want some beautiful dark red rose leaves and we're just going to place them so gently on the top of our cocktail. The rose petals, rose leaves. Did I say rose leaves? Rose leaves. <laughs> Sorry, lots of cars going over the cattle road. <laughs> lots of cars. Oh, look at that! Another car going over the cattle grid. 